Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. We are not worthy. Uh, my name is Bonnie Northgraves, and this is another episode of Jazz Story Time. Today, we are going to be talking about a very old song. Um, I think I said earlier that a tune was one of the oldest in my repertoire, and I have to take it back because this predates that one. So this one uh, is dated at 1865. Um, in some books and in others, it says it just predates the American Civil War. So I don't know if there's actually a fixed date. Um, the actual publishing date of this is 1918. And the song I'm talking about is Down by the Riverside. So let's jump into it. Bobe, 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 piano cam. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna play some key B flat. I'm gonna turn the volume on. Ha <laughs> ha. By the riverside so this is an african-american spiritual song um the the credited date is 1865 though i don't know if that's actually accurate or not that's the earliest date i could find listed um so like i said earlier this was adapted in tin pan alley in the early 1900s um its actual publishing date is 1918 and i believe that was for sheet music purposes um originally this was quite possible possible popular as a gospel tune. I think there's about 14 or 15 recordings of this uh, pre-World War II. So more of a spiritual song or a religious song um, than a jazz song. This didn't really pick up speed as a jazz song until after World War II um, and especially when they had the traditional jazz revival post the 1950s. Um, so I think that's kind of an interesting, interesting thing uh, because when we look at a lot of the music, it's really from a niche, very specific time period um, that the bulk of this music comes from. So it's really interesting that something that really predates um, the traditional jazz or swing even um, genre um, by 35, 40 years um, and then didn't become part of the repertoire until after that phase had sort of moved on. It's kind of an interesting thing, right? Songs written way before, 
and it doesn't become popular in a traditional jazz setting until after. Cool. Um, there's a lot of really cool recordings of this. My favorite one uh, is by Sister Rosetta Tharp. Um, I think it's from 1944 and she records this with a choir. And so there's a video on YouTube. I'm going to link it in the comments. If you need some feel good, like if you need like a little bit of soul sunshine, like this will give it to you. It's just so fun. It's so good. Um, yeah. So check that out. All right. As I do, I'm going to sing it out to wrap this up and here we go. I'm going to lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Bonnie and I'll see you next time.